Wow, Jason Statham can act. I mean, he can really act. That was kind of good. Come on, give me a little bit of respect on that one. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Hey guys, Mike here from We Watched the Movie. Today I'm reviewing uh, Redemption with Jason Statham in it. I wish to God I could do that accent. Hummingbird, I don't know. Anyways, poop. Poop. Redemption, or Hummingbird, depending on where you live. I think in America it's called Redemption, and I think it should probably be called Redemption anywhere because you just don't call a Jason Statham movie Hummingbird. That shit just doesn't work out at all. Plus, the movie poster's already purple. This movie is not all about ass-kicking. This movie is actually a dramatic role for him. <laughs> of course he kicks ass. There are ass-kicking scenes because it's Jason Statham. He's an ex-Special Forces guy, and a bunch of stuff goes wrong. He ends up homeless in the streets of London, and he gets this chance to take over another guy's life, a rich dude's life, and try to get his stuff together. In the meantime, while he has these opportunities, he becomes like this kind of just guardian angel over all these different people and this avenger for these people who've had this stuff go wrong. He's Joseph, where did you get those clothes? Did you hurt someone? Only myself. I need to get my life back together. Who rises through the criminal underworld at the same time while doing all these good deeds for people, trying to redeem himself. And it's a pretty cool story. I mean, you gotta admit, <laughs> when the movie starts out and he's almost, he looks weird. He's got like, I mean, Jason Statham, you, you never seen him with hair. Like, he always looks like that. He always looks the exact same. But he has like four hairs that are coming down like spaghetti over his head. And it's just weird. Um, but he gets cleaned up and he puts on the suit and he looks like the Jason Statham we all know. And the scenes where he is rising through this criminal underworld, let me say that's where most of the ass kicking comes into play, are really cool scenes. Johnny, that's horrible. It's so like, boys, you miss your train. They say you're a hard man. It's a hard city. Yeah. You want to work? Yeah. You know what kind of work I do. Step out of the way, my friend. He seems so together now. I'm like a different person. He, started, he goes from homeless to racking in all this money, even though he's doing questionable shit. Those scenes were really cool. I enjoyed all the stuff that came from that. What I didn't enjoy was the situation with his nun. When he was homeless, he would go and he would go to the soup kitchen, I guess. Uh, he'd go get shit faced and go to the soup kitchen. And there was this nun there who works there and really weird and soft spoken and shy. And when you learn about her character, you realize why. But the problem is, is that she's, for one, she's just kind of annoying. I don't know. And then she can't make up her damn mind. The entire movie, she's like, I shouldn't do this, but I want to. I'm not going to, but I will. Just make up your damn mind. You know, go to the dark side or keep doing what you're doing. Nobody's making you do anything. I don't know. That whole storyline was just kind of whatever. It was just kind of awkward for some reason. Like, focused on it a bit too much. Did you love her? No. What's happening in this city? No one in lies back! Who are you? There are things I have to do. And that was the problem with this movie. It didn't really know what it wanted to be. Jason Statham was amazing in this movie. I had no idea this dude could act so well. Like, he went from crackhead to having post-traumatic stress disorder throughout the entire movie. He's got all this secrets and all this stuff in his past and all this shit he's trying to do. And just the whole movie, Jason Statham's acting just carried it. Great job, you. The movie was just kind of eh. It looked good. It was shot well. It had some really cool stuff in it. But at the same time, it's like you got a movie that's right here. It's a really enjoyable movie. It's a good drama. You got some ass kicking going on. You got a nice little story going on. And they were like... No, we want it to be up here. We want it to be highbrow. We want it to say something. And it was just kind of like, you ruined it when you did that. Because Enough money, I guess. Why? Why are you running, Joey? You should know how it feels to be down there. The, the extra stuff they tried to pile on this movie to make it seem deeper than it really was just 
depressed you, kind of took you out of the movie, kind of made you confused about what you were watching, what they were trying to say. By the time the movie was over, I still didn't get what the movie was trying to say, but because of the cool elements it had here and there, I still ended up enjoying it, mainly Statham and uh, the, the good direction of the movie, but the script was just kind of just all over the place. But like I said, The Criminal Rising in the Underworld, really cool. The romance, really awkward. Jason Statham, badass. The movie, pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. My question for you today is going to be, what is your favorite Jason Statham movie of all time? Click that subscribe button. We appreciate everybody who has already, and we appreciate you guys watching. I'm Mike from We Watch the Movie, and we'll see you next time. We watched a movie, yeah, we watched a movie.